we found ourselves completely surrounded by elk. And there was a couple minutes there, we didn't really know which way to face or set up because they were coming kind of on all sides. All right, big bull, big bull coming. I don't know if he'll ever make it up to the trail like shit anymore, but he's coming. There he is. There's one bull. One bull just crossed it 70 yards. But there's another one behind me. There's a big falling blowdown and they all walk behind it. I can see legs and I can see necks and heads, but no vitals whatsoever. And when they got around behind us, I had no shot up through that thicket. like I'm pretty comfortable at the 60 or 70 yards. And we had elk at 25 yards, six by six at 25 yards, but pretty about that big, laying flat, covering his vitals. I saw neck and feet. I could have shot him in the ear hole, but I might get hate mail for that. <laughs> it's kind of like winning a silver medal in the Olympics. It's like you almost won and you are the closest loser. <laughs> the, the Hoyt bow will do a lot of things, but Shooting through pine trees and into an elk is not one I would recommend.